Hello guys, how are you guys doing? Now we are going to start a new fresh topic in chemistry. We've done lots of topics. Uh, we just finished non-metals and its compounds. Now we're going to talk about metals and their what? Compounds. As I we know, metals and their what? Compounds. Good. Now what are some topics on the metals and compounds? We're going to talk about alkali metals. We'll talk about alkali me metals, we'll talk about aluminium, clean metals of the first series, iron, copper, and alloy. Remember, we are following, we are working directly with your jam or syllables. We are not going outside your jam. Are we putting in anything that is not part of your jam? Now, let's talk about alkali metals first. Well, what are alkali metals? What kind of metals are called alkali metals? The metals which are called alkali metals are called what? Group 1. They are group 1 elements. They belong to group 1. Example, we have sodium, which was what was given to you in your jump. Sodium, um, potassium, lithium. The most reactive is potassium. Now, group 1 elements have one valence electron in its outermost shell. Are you getting me? Group 1 elements are very reactive. They have one valence electron. They are very reactive. They are very reactive. Why do you... Why? This is because... This is because... They have free mobile. Sorry, this is because it has one valence electron, and the tendency to lose. That electron is high, is high, and requires very low energy to pull it, to pull the valence electron. So the group 1 element that was given to you was what? Sodium. Now, sodium belongs to the group 1 in the periodic table. As we know, it does not occur as a free metal because it's too reactive, like I just said. It's too, what? Reactive. I explained that. It is extracted commercially from sodium chloride by electrolysis of what? Down cells. Now, um, sodium and potassium, majorly, their, their mode of extraction, their mode of extraction, majorly, the mode of extraction is through electrolysis electrolysis of what chloride or what hydroxide very very important electrolysis of what chloride and hydroxide for sodium and what potassium that is group one element now let's 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 we should now in extraction of sodium we said the solution from fused sodium chloride by electrolysis of both down cells now we are not going to really go deep into it because what was specifically given that we are going to really talk about is under sodium was sodium hydroxide sodium triazocarbonate four and sodium chloride but i just want to just brush sodium a little so that you understand what we are doing now sodium can be extracted via extract uh, via electrolysis of what fused what sodium what chloride that the process is called what is in what down cells now at the cathode this is what happens at the cathode this sodium ion now sodium here is 11 sodium ion here is 10 so he's accepting one electron to become what this so reduction has taken place so sodium ion as is moving to the what and cathode 
what happens? It's as the, um, the, the cathode gives it an electron. The cathode what gives this sodium ion an electron to become what? Sodium, and it gets deposited as sodium. That's production. And what happens to the anode? The chlorine, as the chlorine is moving to the anode, are you getting me? Now, the, 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 the chlorine donates an electron to the anode. Are you with me? Now, I can also have this reaction like this. Cl minus. Now, if this plus E crosses over to this page, this to minus E. Minus E, that is electron loss. So, give me Cl. Now, chlorine here is 17. Chlorine here is 18. has excess of 1. So, it's losing 1 electron to the anode to be deposited as what? Chlorine. But before it gets deposited, you need to pair. You need to add up itself. So, it pair. It, it paired each other to give me chlorine molecule. Now, the overall reaction. The overall reaction is going to add equation 1. And equation 2. Now, if I have Na plus, plus E minus to give me what? Na and I have Cl minus Cl plus what? E minus. I get me. So let me rearrange this one again so that you understand. So I put it minus E minus to give me Cl. This plus this. That's what it gave me. I get to me Na plus what Cl plus E minus and minus E. This electron will, will cancel. What I what's what's what will I be left with? I will left with what Na. Are you following me? I will left with what Na plus. Now Cl will not exist here because remember Cl came in parts so we had cl2 yes so what is supposed to be here will now be cl2 plus what cl2 then we balance the equation that's how we got what the overall electrolytic reaction now let us go physical properties of sodium it is silvery white with a metallic moisture it has a rating density of 0 0.98 gram centimeter cube it's a good conductor of electricity because they have free mobile valence electron that's one electron it has a low melting point for a metal at 97 degrees Celsius, it's very low for a metal. I get it. It is very malleable. That means it can be hammered or changed. Now let's straight to compounds of sodium, which was given in your jam. What was given was what sodium hydroxide. Now sodium hydroxide is called what caustic what sodium or caustic alkali, and it's produced by the electrolysis of brine, like what we have here. It is produced by what the electrolysis of brine is also called what caustic what soda or caustic what alkali okay and it's produced by the electrolysis of what brine now how does this function brine some of you have been hearing brine 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 it means sodium chloride i get to me that is what brine means. So let's assume what I have here is sodium chloride. Not just sodium chloride, aqueous state. So aqueous, that means um, it means um, 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 aqueous. Aqueous sodium chloride. That is brine. So it's the same thing. So platinum. Platinum, I'm right with platinum. I get to me. So let's say this is my platinum um, cathode. This is my platinum cathode. This is my platinum anode. And I connect. Shows direction of electron flow. Um, this is my cathode. This is my anode. Okay. This is my electron flow. Electron flow. So this is my.
is Akios. Are you with me? Now there's my DC DC supply. So that's so there's my positive, my negative. Okay. Now this acting as my electrolyte. This is like. I fully. So now when current just pass through this. So let me put plus and negative. Plus here. Now when current is passed through this, for example. Now this ionizes now the presence of aqueous, that is water is in it. So NaCl ionizes, give me Na plus Cl minus and water. And then you have H plus OH minus. Why? Right? Now we know that both of them we migrate will migrate towards the what cathode and both of them will migrate towards the what anode are you getting me so the negative sign negative um, charges go to the anode that is the anions to the anode then the positive charge goes to the what cathode that is cations to the cathode so this cations are you not it's my anions so how what happens based on the preferential discharge of ions when chlorine and oxygen goes uh, and 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 hydrozyl ion hydroxide ion when it comes to the um well, let me use the positive first when sodium ion and hydrogen ion comes now sodium ion is higher in the series i get him is higher in the series and um hydrogen ion is lower in the series i remember based on the law the first law which um, um, position of the ions in the electrochemical series, the, uh, the law, I get to me, um, it says that um, position of the ions in the ele electrochemical series based on preferential discharge of ions, ions which are lower in the series will be discharged. So H plus will be discharged here. I get to me. H plus will be discharged. How is it going to be discharged? At the anode. I get to me. H plus will be discharged by what? I'm setting an electron from the anode to become what? H. Are you with me? And combines and pairs. Also, you give me H2. I get to me. Then cathode. And the cathode. And the cathode. And the cathode. At the cathode. Are with me? Um, both of them will migrate. They migrate to this place. These are both of them migrated. So both of them migrate to this place, rather. These are both of them migrated here. I get to me. What am I doing? It's supposed to be cathode. So it's anode. Cathode. Anode. So about that. So both of them are great. Remember, it's not everybody that comes to heaven during judgment that went inside heaven. Good. So both of them are great to the anode. So both of them are great to the what? Cathode. So when they migrate to the cathode, I've explained for this, it's all be deposited by a certain electron. This cathode gives it an electron and get deposited here as hydrogen what atom. Hydrogen can also pair. I get to me why this one comes here and get to me and you get deposited as what OH what minus so OH minus sorry get deposited based on sorry now, both of them migrate to the anode. Now, chlorine and OH- in the series, actually, chlorine is lower in the series. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Chlorine is lower in the series, and hydroxyl ion is, hydroxide ion is higher in the series. Okay, 